I guess you guys must have seen the Joe Rogan podcast with uh, Oliver Anthony. Very good podcast. I'll put the link in the description down below. It's very, it's very eye-opening. But he's a very down-to-earth guy, Oliver Anthony. You can just, you can't help but love him. He's just a regular guy that just wants to put music out there and that everyone can relate to. But this whole tribalism of the current society, modern-day society right now, it's crazy. It's crazy. If someone is doing something worthwhile, this side want that person to be with them, and the other side want the person to be with them. It's like playing tug of war with someone. Why can't the person just be in the middle where both people from both sides can enjoy what that person is putting out there? He doesn't have to be right wing or left wing. It can just be him. The tribalism is madness. It's crazy. People are tribal over measly, do over little things. Like, for example, you like you and your friend group like Jordans, and someone else likes Adidas, and they make you make fun of that person for wearing Adidas, or wearing Puma or Fila sneakers or Vans. Oh, because you're Jordan gang. What nonsense! Everyone is so tribalistic. I remember when uh, the media, I think it was CNN, was interviewing uh, Morgan Freeman and they were asking him, asking him about racism, this racism, that racism, this, come, just keep on pounding, but racism, this, racism, that. And they were asking Morgan Freeman, how do you think we can, we can solve this racism pro uh, problem? And Morgan Freeman said, well, you can start by not talking about it. Because when you talk about something like that too much, you're breathing life into it, you add more fuel to the fire. Regular everyday people don't care about all this stuff. They just want we just all want to get along and want to be just be one big family. Families have disagreements all the time, but they're still family. The news media always talks about this racism, this racism, that. Now, if look at this headline, Oliver Anthony claps back. He claps back at claim that no Democrats is buying his music. Whoever said Democrats weren't buying his music? Everyone is buying his music. Everyone can relate to what he's saying. That's what makes him so dangerous in the eyes of the elite, because he's like a symbol of unity. Everybody loves his music. Nobody's saying Democrats are not buying his music. The first time I'm hearing I'm seeing this. Oliver Anthony, who's given name is Christopher uh, Anthony Longsford, uh, rose to viral fame earlier this month when podcaster Joe Rogan endorsed his song, Richmond North of Richmond. Uh, the song has raised controversy for its lyrics, but also won praise from conservatives for criticizing welfare cheats and taxation, as well as making references to Jeffrey mm -mm -mm and QAnon. There's some things you can't say. Even merely saying the names or saying certain words, they censor your videos. It's crazy. So we have to self-censor now. You see how mad with how mad, th mad things are? And they 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 just put on this. They try to put him in a box. This guy. Immediately you come out. Immediately someone makes something out of himself. The next thing is a uh, talking heads want to know is. What's your political affiliation? Who do you side with? Why must we take a side? Why must we take a side? Can't we just be people? Just live our lives, just be human beings? That love each other, that just want to get along with people? Why must we take a side? Why must we be forced to take a side? This is madness, man. Listen, man, you don't gotta listen to nobody. <laughs> Tell them all to eat shit. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. You can do whatever you want, man. You just keep doing that. You just oh, yeah, keep so doing that. And get something out there. And then, I mean, man, I was taking aspirin every day thinking like I was going to have a heart attack. It was just, I was having like all this so, crap. So what was the, when you were recording these things and releasing them, what was the hope? The hope was that people would enjoy them? The hope yeah, people I was just trying to leave, I was just trying to leave them out for the world in case like. In case you died? Yeah, in case I, I guess in case either I died from a heart attack or like. Do you know like, how huge these songs would be if you died? <laughs> <laughs> I think that's like.